here for an SEO review. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Surfer SEO, which is a search engine optimization tool that enables you to rank your content on the top pages of Google. Now, we have already covered on how to get started with Surfer SEO, but we are going to review the actual features that have been provided, what are the pros of these features, how do they function, and how it is going to feel like once you are actually using this SEO optimizer. So let's get into it. Now, make sure to click the link in the description box down below to get started with Surfer SEO as well. And you can also get a discount with the link in the description box down below. So make sure to check that out as well. Now you can see this is our basic dashboard on Surfer SEO. So you can see on your left, you have your navigation panel. And then on your top left, you have home, you have your organization, you have credits, and then you have your search console integration. So overall, the layout of Surfer SEO is pretty neat and clean. Sometimes I do find that it is a rather basic layout. They don't have anything that can really, really separate the overall um, platform from other platforms, but it does the job and it is a easy to use functioning platform, which I really like. Now, if we take a look at their content editor, now the content editor is to get SEO guidelines for your web page or for your blog. Now, if we take a look at the content guidelines that they provide with a simple one word term, this is one feature that I absolutely love. You have your content scoring. You can click on the details on the right side of your screen and get more details on what, where your content is lacking. Then you have your content structure. Then below that, not only do you get a content structure, but you also have terms that you can use within your content that they recommend. So this is going to be one way that you can really elongate your blogs and web pages and find the perfect SEO optimization for your platform or for your blog. This is just really going to help you in overall expanding your business and getting the most out of your SEO optimization. Not only that, you can click on headings over here as well to find specific headings that you should add for your content or for your web page. And then you also have NLP, which is the natural language pronunciation. So Often when people are searching for something, they are not going to search in a manner that is written. So usually people, when they are looking for a specific kind of item or specific content, they search in the way that they are speaking. So if I am looking for uh, a white t-shirt, I'm not going to search for buy a white t-shirt. I usually just search for a white t-shirt and that is just what I think of. That is how natural language flows. So that is, uh, these are the words that you should add for the natural language pronunciation. So your content or your web page ranks the highest in all content available. Now, this is just the content editor, one feature that I absolutely love. If we go on to the content planner next. Now, the content planner makes you, uh, helps you in making uh, a supportive page that will help you rank difficult keywords. So you can click and enter your domain over here as well. And then you can also enter your keyword. And if you enter a keyword, like I've entered the one keyword, you can see it is going to give me cluster keywords. So these are going to be slightly more difficult keywords that are slightly longer, but are going to give me more organic traffic. And they are going to help you in integrating these uh, keywords into your content, which I find to be such an amazing feature, especially when I was writing my blog about a very specific disease and it was very difficult to find search engine optimization because in the medical field you really don't think that you are going to need that but you do need SEO optimization in that and when I was writing about the Turner syndrome this feature was truly a lifesaver for my article otherwise I think I would have totally lost it and my article would have drowned but Thanks to this, I was able to write it pretty well. Now, after that, we have the auditing section. Now, if you already have your URL, you have your web page, whatever it might be, you can just copy and paste the URL and search and take a look at how well it has been uh, created. You can see your content score, you can see your backlinks, internal links, terms to use, and then they will give you specific terms to use as well. 
as well as word count details. You also will get page structure and partial keywords that you should be able to use, plus loading time and time to first byte. So these are going to be some amazing details, which will help you in uh, fixing the overall structure of your website. Now, next up, we have the SERP Analyzer, which I find to be just a so-so tool. It finds the correlation between secret keywords, you could say, and on-page factors. I really don't think that this is one of those standout tools. I really haven't found it useful in any of the times that I've used it. And then we have a basic keyword researcher as well. This is like any keyword research tool. Whenever you are looking for synonyms and you want to add something related and you're just looking for something that's going to be related to the topic that you're searching, you can enter a basic SEL keyword and then you're just going to get a recommended keywords along those lines. Now, now if we actually take a look at the features, you have these free tools like their Growflow, yeah, Outline Generator, the Keyword Super Surfer Extension, but we're focusing on the paid tools like our Content Planner, our Auditor, our Content Editor, and our Brief. So these were the tools that I was focusing on, which were the paid versions. And because these are coming at a price and the price that they start at is $49 per month, where you can write and optimize 10 articles a month and you can audit 20 pages. Then you have the pro version starting at $99 a month, where where you can write and optimize 30 articles and uh, audit 60 pages and then you have the business version where you can op optimize 70 articles and audit 150 pages now if you find these plans to be sufficient and the tool to be good in my personal experience it has been good the features have been nice what you're paying for in terms of auditing, uh, in terms of just uh, auditing your documents or your web pages, I mean, uh, when you're auditing your documents or using the content editor and planner, they are really going to be worth your while. So if you find these features to be super helpful for you, and if you're running a online business, then I would definitely recommend that you check out the link in the description box down below to get started with Surfer SEO as well. In general, I do think it is a good tool to use use for search engine optimization. Any company or business really needs SEO optimization if you're working online. And if you feel like you are lacking your SEO optimization or if you feel like you're not generating leads, if you're getting high conversion and low amounts of leads, then you need to opt for a SEO optimizer like Surfer SEO, which is going to serve you pretty well for the price that you are going to pay. It's a good standard tool and you have other features like Google Search Console integration as well. Then you also have your organization features, so you can enter a organization name as well. You can enter members to your organization, so if you are multiple people working on one business web page or one business website or blog this will help you in using one seo tool at a time to just keep everything cohesive and looking well and then you can just check all of your work and make sure that everything that you are doing in your web page is looking cohesive so you don't want one page to be filtered or littered with keywords and that is why the audit feature is so necessary because for some people that begin using seo optimizers they don't have auditors and when they don't have a auditing feature they end up uh, making their website look too crowded with keywords so that is why it is essential to make sure to audit all of your web pages or your blogs or your content so make sure to check that link in the description to get started with surfer seo i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to decide whether or not surfer seo is a good platform for you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video